everyone! In this video, I'll be showing you how to make milk pie, a dessert originating from South Africa. The original is called milk tart, but since I'm making my own variation, I'm calling this dessert milk pie. I made two versions. The first is classic and delicious. The second has a Stranger Things inspired design and is also delicious. Let's get started. Starting off with the no-bake crust, into a 9.5 inch pie plate, add 1 and a quarter cups of graham cracker crumbs, a quarter cup of sugar, and a pinch of salt. Mix these ingredients together until combined. Then add 5 tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm using unsalted, but you can use salted butter if you want. Just remember that if you do use salted butter, then you don't have to add a pinch of salt to the crumb and sugar mixture. Now mix all of the ingredients together until well blended, then press firmly onto the bottom and up the sides of the pie dish. Then place this in the fridge to firm up while we prepare the milk custard. If you prefer to bake the crust, bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for 6 to 8 minutes until it's lightly browned. Then let it cool completely before adding the custard filling. Now onto the milk custard. Into a food processor, add a third of a cup of all-purpose flour, third of a cup of cornstarch, a pinch of salt, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of milk, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Blend these ingredients together until well blended. Next, into a large pot, add 3 cups of milk and 8 tablespoons of unsalted butter. I broke up the butter into smaller pieces to help it combine faster with the milk. Bring this mixture up to a boil over medium heat. Give it a whisking every now and then to make sure you don't burn the milk. Milk is tricky in this state and requires your undivided attention. Once it's at a boil, turn the heat to low and slowly in a thin stream, add the flour mixture to the hot milk, whisking constantly. It's very important that you keep whisking until this mixture has thickened and is completely cooked. Should take about 15 minutes. You'll know when the custard starts pulling away from the sides of the pot and if you're able to run a spoon through it and the line holds its shape. At this stage, add a quarter cup of milk and whisk to combine completely. The mixture should be thickened, smooth, and velvety like this. Then pour the custard into the prepared crust. Smooth out the top if you wish. Let the pie cool for about 30 minutes, then transfer to the refrigerator to firm up for at least one hour. In this shot, some slices of pie are clearly missing because I let my family have some and they enjoyed it very much. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, the unbaked crust has a slight tendency to fall apart, but it's still delicious. So if you want a more stable crust and more complex flavor, go ahead and bake the crust before filling it. This pie is scrumptious. I really like it. Now for the Stranger Things version of the pie, I switched the vanilla extract for ground vanilla to produce a speckled effect that I thought was reminiscent of the upside down atmosphere. Then I made a simple demogorgon design on top using fig spread. Fig seeds, especially when poached in panela, look like a mini demogorgon head to me which gave me this pie idea. Unfortunately, I did not have any fresh figs and neither did the grocery store near me. So I thought fig spread kind of produced the same effect. I started by making a star shape with the spread by using my tools of choice, a knife and a fondue fork. Then I made each of the points into petals because the demogorgon's head kind of looks like a flower. Then in the center, I pulled back the spread to make points in which the milk pie underneath could show through. To complete this design, I think adding some slivered almonds around the edges of the petals and around the center would look cool, but again, like the figs, not an almond in sight. Here's an idea of what it would look like if I did add slivered almonds. Both versions of this pie are absolutely delectable. The milk pie has a velvety texture with just the perfect amount of sweetness. The milk pie with fig spread does amp up the sweetness a bit, so keep that in mind. Overall, milk pie for me is a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and give milk pie a try. Keep safe and I'll see you in my next video.